Okay. Hi, um, thanks, Ryan. Um, Malcolm, I just had a question for you. Um, just in terms of your game today, um, was there anything that you specifically can take from this game, like one lesson that you will take from this game into this week? Um, it's hard to say. Sorry, hello, everybody. Um, it's hard to say at the moment. Um, obviously, a bit of a tough pull to swallow it. Um, at the moment, so I think, as Coach Jarko said, we'll have to obviously go through and look through the game in detail, um, have a look and see where we made mistakes, and see where we can improve on. Um, there's always room for improvement, no matter how well you play. Um, there's uh, room to grow. So uh, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll look at the game in detail tomorrow, and um, obviously work on that for next week's game. Guys, can you hear us? Yes, you know. I think Ray. I think Ray's gone, yeah, but we can. Okay, fly, fly a kid. It's fine. Okay. Do you want me to go, Zina? Yeah, that's cool, kid. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, Malcolm. Um, there's always a sort of expectation that the uh, Springboks are going to get the better of the uh, Wallaby scrum, um, but they always seem to be very crafty and clever when it comes to that set piece. Um, how, how did you feel that that battle went uh, in the second half when you were on? And first half too, if you want to talk about that. Yeah, uh, it's a bit hard to say at the moment. Um, there were obviously scrums where, where we felt we were dominant and it was obviously a different picture that was maybe painted towards the ref. Um, maybe that's not what he saw. Um, I'm always going to sit here and say I felt we were dominant uh, being a Springbok. Um, so um, maybe the pictures that we felt and the pictures that he saw were two different things. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll have a look, um, obviously work on it, see what we can improve and obviously work just as hard next week as we did this week. Thank you. Right, uh, Percy, you're up again. Yeah, thank you so much, Ren. Zbu, can I, can I ask you, um, um, a, lot of, a lot has been seen for, for, from us as viewers about some of the tactics that, that, that was applied by the opponents, the winning side tonight, especially about the complaints, I would say, using in bracket comments from the Springboks that um, they were obstructing some of the players. Is that the way you saw it as a, as a winger? And did you guys have to work much harder today with the Wallabies applying some of these tactics today? Um, you know, a lot of things didn't feel right today, but I think it's it's, it's better for us to, to um, speak of it after a good detailed review of what went on. Um, I think uh, if we look at the detail much closer, I'll be able to give you a more accurate answer towards that. But um, uh, I have to admit that uh, we we didn't enjoy the, the air like we, we usually do. And as to why, we'll have to um, just like go back to the clips and see what went wrong where and um, yeah. So you can't, I can't give you a straight answer right now, I'd be lying. Um, I was in the mix of things, you know, uh, obviously feeling like I struggled to, to get into the air. Um, I, I don't know whether, you know, there were tactics that were used um, that were illegal or what, whatsoever. So I'll have to uh, have a detailed review before I can give you a straight answer on that. Hey, Percy, you done? Looks like it. Pam? Maybe just a, a follow-up question, maybe to, to to Malcolm as well. Malcolm, is a very short turnaround for you guys um, the, the, this week. Is there a lot of work to be done for you guys ahead of that second clash against the Wallabies against them? Um, I think there's always work to be done. To be honest, um, no matter how, how well we perform or whether we win or lose, there's always room for improvement. There's always things that we want to improve on. Um, uh, we always um, try and strive ourselves to get better every single week, regardless of what the result is. Um, 
So obviously there will be work on, there will be things that we will focus on and and um, and work harder on this week, coming the, pre the preparation for next week's game. Right, we have time for two more questions, then we'll conclude the, this uh, mixed zone. Um, uh, uh, we now give a chance to S Simon Rickett. Hello, gents. Um, uh, a lot has been said about this um, loss of yours and uh, a lot of uh, inner thoughts that has to happen within the next few days. Um, if uh, this is the margin that we um, start to measure you against what uh, the retaining of the Rugby World Championship is, um, is that fair? Um, I know that it's early days and you still have to face the old arch rival, the All Blacks. Um, from a player's point of view, I mean, uh, you were on the field. The, the, uh, the coaches weren't on the field. What, what do you expect? What do you think? I know it's uh, an inner thought, but what do you expect and how do you perceive that uh, stuff will happen within the next week or so? Thank you. No, I think we can just boil it down to execution. Um, I don't think we have to go back to the drawing board and change anything. We've got a solid plan. We've got a, a plan that's turned us into world champions. You know, we're still growing into um, that uh, environment of, of being world champions. We still uh, we're still learning how to be world champions, and we're still gonna grow that uh, extra leg that um, gives us that ruthlessness uh, uh, to put teams away. So uh, I don't think there's a whole lot of uh, thinking to do. I just think we need to. To be uh, uh, better at execu executing um, our game plan, and um, as we've seen in the past, you know, it's gotten us uh, a lot of success. So we just need to get back to that. Thank you, Sabu, and we'll uh, finish off with Nathan again. Uh, thank you, Ray. I will start on my left, uh, Sabu. Um, I've got two questions. I'll start with Sabu. Sabu, as a backline player and a key component on attack, do you feel the box could be more innovative or variant? Going forward, if a plan A doesn't work on attack, I think uh, it's, it's it's hard to say whether our plan A didn't work. We did score three more tries. Um, that that's excellent. Um, like um, it has been stated in in a few answers earlier, you know, it's our discipline that uh, lost us the game because they managed to score 23 points off the tee. So I, I wouldn't I wouldn't say we needed a plan B on attack. Our attack worked very well. A mole is an attacking set piece. We did score three uh, tries off it. So and and well done to the forwards on that one. Um, as a back, uh, my uh, responsibility is to get uh, the forwards in those positions where they can assert their dominance on the opposition. So um, yeah, that's my feeling on everything. Nathan, your last question. Uh, yes, thank you. Then on to Malcolm. Uh, Malcolm, the. There were many ill-disciplined moments throughout the throughout from both sides, but please give us your opinion on the ref's level of officiating throughout the match. Um, yeah, obviously, obviously, there's things that's going to go your way, and there's things that aren't going to go your way in a game. Um, there's pictures that we see that maybe the ref use differently. Um, so, yeah, I'm I'm obviously going to have a biased opinion towards us, but maybe the picture for the ref was very different. So. Um, I don't think it's. I don't think I've got. I, I don't think I can comment on on what he saw because he maybe saw something different um, as to what we saw. So um, yeah, it's a tough question to answer. But um, yeah, that uh, that's just my personal opinion. Uh, we can't uh, we can't rely everything on the ref, and what he sees is very different to what we see or, or what they see. So his decision. He's he's the manager of the game at the end of the day. So whatever he calls, it's his. Um, it's sort of on him. It's his, it's his decision. He manages the game. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you, Malcolm. Thank you, Sabu. Uh, that, um, ladies and gents, uh, uh, is then the end of our uh, post-match media conference uh, here from the stadium at the Gold Coast.